This your boy Food Stamp from VA. I'm now living in the ATL. Now I'm in New York stomping on your town. Looking for somewhere to move out here. Maybe Brooklyn because it's nice and quiet. Right now I'm staying out there in Williamsburg. Lahayam. Yeah, you know I man. Some of y'all probably have seen me on BET's Comic View. Who Got Jokes. Mm. Um, all over YouTube. King of Skits. The Davis Inc. Um, what else? Uh, I did a couple shows. I did the Def Jam Mobile with Bob Sumner. Um, sheesh. Got yeah, a long repertoire. Plus, uh, plus I'm an um, independent um, comedy DVD producer. So I got about 10 projects out. You know what I mean? Skits 1, Skits 2, 3 The Comedy Way, ATL Street Snaps, Lil Duval, That Boy Funny Deer Production on that. Um, got a couple of new joints coming out, so y'all got to stay tuned and check the website in a minute um, when I do that, because I'm just now getting all of that computer swabbed with the internet. I ain't need no web page, because I was state to state doing a promotional tour on my own, out my own pocket like that, promoting, you know what I mean, my DVD in every state on my own. So, you know, that's what I do, write, direct, produce, act, you know, a little stand-up, mostly stand-up. Stand-up is like my uh, counseling to the world. Without stand-up, I'd be a evil motherfucker. I'd be this nigga right here all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, stand-up is like something that really helps me a whole lot cope with the world. Most people need drugs and alcohol. Stand-up. I started comedy back in... 96, 97, 97, because I remember I was still in college and I fought around one day, one day old enough to get in a bar and I saw uh, Tyler Craig telling jokes and I was like, yo, I could do that. And uh, he let me go on stage. All right, all right. I couldn't do that. <laughs> I had to get in the groove. I had to learn to study this jump. And when I came back, shit. It's been like 10 years later, and I ain't missed a day since in this bitch. Every day, eat, sleep, right, live, this shit. So many bitches done left me. I can't keep a relationship because of this comedy shit. Comedy comes first. <laughs> Had to give a fuck. Think about it here. Um, Atlanta, if it's a black crowd, this is a black crowd. New York, if it's a black crowd, they could be Haitian, they could be Jamaican, they could be West Indy. You don't know what you're running into, but you're running into something different. And when you be like, why the fuck these jokes ain't working? Maybe it's a different crowd out there you're looking at. Everybody black ain't black in New York. So, you know what I mean? I love the different nationalities up here. Everything is fast-paced. But I mean, from me being down south, honing my skills down south, I slow it down when I'm here, too. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't no punk. I don't run because it get quiet. I'm bringing them to my level, you know what I mean? Cause each comedian is different in their own. And hopefully niggas don't steal the uh, do the originality thing, because that's what I'm big on, originality. If you got it before me, I'd be like, damn, that nigga think fast. I'm thinking faster now. I'm going home tweaking and perk it up so I can make motherfuckers' stomach hurt. That's my goal is. I like niggas that when I, I got shock value coming, when I tell a joke, the nigga be trying to swallow his drink and spit it on his girl. That's the type of shit I love to see. You know what I mean? That way I know... Them punchlines are effective. Like, wow. Hey, you My first joke, when I move to the... When, whenever I go to a state, I study that state so I can learn and cater what they get off on. You feel me? So when I went down south, my big joke, my first punchline, I went in on seconds, probably 15 to 30 seconds. And this is history for months and months. Um, I used to go on stage and be like, hey, tell home with a gold teeth. And just smile. And the whole crowd would laugh. You know what I mean? Probably about 30 seconds to a minute. Off of just that, that's just the intro. I ain't from here. And then I used to hit them with, I used to talk about college a lot because that's what I was in. You know what I mean? I came from VA on my whole aura, mind state, everything changed when I left VA. I'm not, I'm not, you know what I mean, that type of guy, like where it was like entertainment. I had to get in this shit and learn it from the ground up. And what helped me get over the top is um books by Dennis Kimbrough and Napoleon Hill, so don't get it twisted. I read my way up. I ain't just blinded through, you know what I mean? I learned and uh, did my homework on people who came before me in many different avenues. That's how I learned how to um, make a living off of this comedy without doing stand-up, too, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people think once you climax in stand-up comedy, you're supposed to blow up. It don't always happen like that. To each his own, everybody, they come, you know what I mean? Just from your grind and your network can be your net worth, so play close attention, you know, and stay politic and like that, because that helps a lot. So that's what I am. You know, I'm big on reading books and doing my homework for this shit, because this game will take you and swallow you up, fuck yourself, steam up. <laughs>
Yeah, I'll study everybody from Def Jam. You know what I mean? Um, Jersey J, a lot of energy guy. Um, talent, when I did talk to him, you know, he's like my New York cats. Um, Rip Michaels put me up on the hustle here. Got a lot of money with Rip. Um, Smokey, you know, Smoke, I fought with Smoke uh, from Harlem. You know what I mean? Um, who else? Let me take it down south a little bit. Tone X from North Carolina. My big brother Zoo, Corey Zoo Miller out in Jersey now. Big up the zoo. Um, who some of the other cats? Benji Brown, I just love his style. He out of Florida too. He hooked me up and a lot of cats that I admire. I got in good with the managers at the comedy club. So, you know what I mean? With them too, because I admire them and they style and I learned to catch on. You know, this shit is a business. It big, it's big business, you know what I mean? So. Know what you're worth, nigga, when you talk to these club owners, man. And stand your ground. For me, like, I done seen now, me coming up, getting deep into the game. Where if you do a comedy club, ain't nobody buying you no hotel room. You're a goddamn lie. It's in my paperwork. I do do paperwork. I'm a paper gangster. You know what I mean? Fuck all that talking when I'm coming to your town. Read that contract that you're about to sign. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to get my deposit. I don't even, I ain't finna dot that damn door. Ain't no deposit in the mail. You can kiss my ass. You can tell me it's on the way nothing. I'm not leaving out that house. I'm seriously about my business and my paperwork nowadays, yo. I came in. I'm the one told him, man. You in Tennessee. If you ever go to Tennessee, it's like a, to me, it's cool, but it's like a great cloud over there. You know what I mean? It's like, well, you know, a lot of death, a lot of wild niggas, you know, thugged out shit. That's what I seen when I was there. And I was like, you want more opportunity, you better come to the ATL. There's always a stage to hit in the ATL. You can hone your skills like that when you come to a city where you can always go on stage. You feel me? Learn that quick wit and all that shit. He learned that when he came to the ATL. Cause he was gonna sleep on my couch, and at the time I was staying with my little uh, dreadhead girl, you know what I mean? Off in the hood and a duck off, and I was like, come, you can crash on the couch, nigga. Five years from now, richer than the motherfucker, funnier than Chris Tucker, sitting up somewhere about to eat some better crocker, you know what I mean? You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's only where God take me, yo. You know what I mean? I can't rush this, I can't put no time on it. I know that I'm, this is God's plan, it's bigger than me. I know that much. You know what I mean? Because I wake up every day. I eat, sleep, live. I do this. You know what I mean? And God only one can make it happen like that. You know what I mean? I done been through a lot through this game. You know what I mean? I done lost a lot and I gained a lot. You know what I mean? But I'm still here and I'm a blessed individual. So I'm very thankful. That's how I know it's a bigger picture for than just what I see. You know what I mean? Hitting these stages. I love this. I love new territory, too. Like, I've been up here losing my mind, jumping on the train, got lost. I've been to JFK like three times in one night, thinking I'm on the right train, trying to come back to Brooklyn. Been out to the Bronx, you know what I mean? Queens all over this joint. I want to go play around in Harlem a little more, though. You know what I mean? But, you know, I didn't. I didn't got a lot of shots. You check that joint out on YouTube, the Davis Inc. Um, it's like kind of like a food stamp tour. I'm putting younger comedians up on what you need to do when you get here. Get that map and that metro car. Because you're going to spend, much money as you're going to spend trying to get back and forth here and there, you'd be better off just buying a metro car. And I've been doing that, so I can ride everywhere. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what I've been on. You know, I'm, I'm giving back knowledge through the YouTube. And I'm bigging up a lot of comedians here that got spots that I got money with, so I want cats that come up here. If you bought your business, you're going to eat because you can sit here and krill over. You know what I mean? Like, my boys, I came to Brooklyn. My boys got an apartment, you know what I mean, in the Williamsburg area. And everybody left. One on went on um, vacation to Miami, and one went to, um, got that going, uh, West Indies, some guy that can wear Trinidad. And so I'm in Brooklyn by myself until I link with my boys that's up here, you know what I mean? So, you know, that's how I'm doing it. I'm getting it in. I'm here by myself. And I love it. Comedy is a lonely road. It's one road I took off hauling ass down. Fuck friends. <laughs> it's business, bro. Network. I want that net worth. My Facebook, um, Food Stamp the Comedian, FDS, TMP, um, DA. You know, you know how to spell comedian, food stamp comedian. Pull up Zoltan, um, that's my new management, whatever, you know, out of the ATL. You can check with them. And then um, also you can hit me on the um, Yahoo, Fredo Vision at yahoo.com, F R E D O V I S I O N, you know what I mean, at Yahoo. And then uh, please check out the YouTube and subscribe to me so you can see every new thing that I'm doing on there. Like, I, I now I got it where. My Facebook and my YouTube connect, so everything I load on the Facebook, go to, I mean on my YouTube, go to my Facebook. 
And I'm trying to deal with the twit, but I won't get enough conversation on twit. So I felt like a twit. So, you know, I'm going to mess back with twit a little bit and link everything to my Facebook so I can get them numbers. You know what I mean? I heard um, YouTube and was getting away deals and stuff, but I ain't in it for the deal. I'm in it for the longevity. I be here when niggas krill over and they deal ain't going so swell. You know what I mean? I want a Jewish lawyer, so any Jewish lawyers watching this, I need you, baby. 